we are taking the next step in Gmail with Help Me Write. Let's say you got this email that your flight was canceled. The airline has sent a voucher, but what you really want is a full refund. You could reply and use Help Me Write. Just type in the prompt of what you want, an email to ask for a full refund, hit Create, and a full draft appears. As you can see, it conveniently pulled in flight details from the previous email. And it looks pretty close to what you want to send. The next example is Maps. Imagine if you could see your whole trip in advance. Say I'm in New York City, and I want to go on a bike ride. And I want to get a feel for it first. Click on Immersive View for Routes, and it's an entirely new way to look at my journey. I can zoom in to get an incredible bird's eye view of the ride. And, and as we turn, we get onto a great bike path. And if I want to check traffic and weather and see how they might change over the next few hours, I can do that. Looks like it's going to pour later, so maybe I want to get going now. Immersive view for routes will begin to roll out over the summer and launch in 15 cities by the end of the year, including London, New York, Tokyo, and San Francisco. Another product made better by AI is Google Photos. Using a combination of semantic understanding and generative AI, you can do much more with a new experience called Magic Editor. And it looks like the balloons got cut off in this one. So you can go ahead and reposition the birthday boy. Magic Editor <laughs> automatically recreates parts of the bench and balloons that were not captured in the original shot. As a finishing touch, you can punch up the sky. It changes the lighting in the rest of the photo so the edit feels consistent. It's truly magical. From Gmail and photos to maps, these are just a few examples of how AI can help you in moments that matter. BARD has already learned more than 20 programming languages, including C++, Go, JavaScript, Python, Kotlin, and even Google Sheets functions. I've recently been learning chess, and for fun, I thought I'd see if I can program a move in Python. How would I use Python to generate the scholar's mate move in chess? Here, Bard created a script to recreate this chess move in Python. And notice how it also formatted the code nicely, making it easy to read. And starting next week, you'll notice something right here. We're making code citations even more precise. If Bard brings in a block of code, just click this annotation, and Bard will underline the block and link to the source. And in a couple clicks, I can move this directly into Colab. We've also heard that you want dark theme, so starting today, you can activate it. <laughs> Bard will be able to tap into all kinds of services from across the web with Adobe Firefly you'll be able to generate completely new images from your imagination right in BARD. Make an image of a unicorn and a cake at a kid's party. OK, now BARD is working with Firefly to bring what I imagined to life. BARD continues to rapidly improve and learn new abilities. And we want to let people around the world try it out and share their feedback. So today, we are removing the wait list and opening up BARD to over 180 countries and territories. Workspace was built to allow you to collaborate in real time with other people. Now, you can collaborate in real time with AI. One of our most popular use cases is the trusty job description. To get started, you enter just a few words as a prompt. Senior level job description for textile designer. Docs will take that prompt, send it to our Palm 2 based model, and let's see what I got back. Not bad. With just seven words, the model came back with a good starting point written out really nicely for me. Imagine you run a dog walking business and need to keep track of things like your clients, logistics about the dogs, like what time they need to be walked, for how long, etc. Sheets can help you get organized. In a new sheet, 
simply type something like client and pet roster for a dog walking business with rates and hit create. Sheet sends this input to a fine-tuned model that we've been training with all sorts of sheet-specific use cases. The model figured out what you might need. The generated table has things like the dog's name, client info, notes, etc. I am just so excited by the potential of bringing generative AI into search. When you're texting in a group chat, you shouldn't have to worry about whether everyone is using the same type of phone. <laughs> sending, high <quali> <laughs> sending high quality images and video, getting typing notifications, and end-to-end -end encryption should all just work. That's why we've worked with our partners on upgrading old SMS and MMS technology to a modern standard called RCS that, that makes all of this possible. And there are now over 800 million people with RCS. On our way to over a billion by the end of the year. We hope every mobile operating system <laughs> gets the message and adopts RCS. So we can all hang out in the group chat together. No matter what device we're using. Messages and conversations can be so much more expressive, fun, and playful with Magic Compose. So just type your message like you normally would, and then choose how you want to sound. Magic Compose will do the rest. So your messages give off more positivity, more rhymes, more professionalism. <laughs> or, or if you want, in the style of a certain playwright. To try or not to try this, quest, this feature, that is the question. Emojis are such a fun and simple way of expressing yourself, so we thought, wouldn't it be cool to bring them to your wallpaper? Uh, this guy and this guy, and uh, let's see, who else is in here? This one looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool, huh? So with the new cinematic wallpaper feature, you can create a stunning 3D image from any regular photo and then use it as your wallpaper. Boom, okay. Now, under the hood, we're using an on-device convolutional neural network to estimate depth, and then a generative adversarial network for in-painting as the background moves. The result is a beautiful cinematic 3D photo. Cinematic wallpapers and emoji wallpapers are coming first to Pixel devices next month create a wallpaper with AI. And I like classic art, so let me tap that. Now, you'll notice at the bottom, we use structured prompts to make it easier to create. So for example, I can pick, uh, what am I gonna do? City by the Bay in a uh, post-impressionist style. Cool. And I type, tap create wallpaper. Nice. Now, behind the scenes, we're using Google's text-to-image diffusion models to generate completely new and original wallpapers. And I can swipe through and see all the different options that it's created. And some of these look really cool, right? <laughs> Generative AI wallpapers will be coming this fall. We look forward to working together and building together. So on behalf of all of us at Google, thank you and enjoy the rest of I.O.